Just wanted to give everyone a shot of my new IBC tank setup. And uh, this is my new water harvesting setup that I recently designed. And uh, I had a couple of design goals that I wanted to do. Uh, one, it needed to be kind of a really simple design. Uh, it didn't require much maintenance, because I'm pretty lazy. Uh, secondly, I didn't really want to cut many holes in the IBC tanks. Um, with all the pressure, I heard people having problems with things like leaks, etc. And third, I really wanted to make a simple design, something that wouldn't require a ton of parts and where I could effectively get things done with the least amount. Um, and really, it needed to be, you know, able to be taken apart quite easily. So I'll just go over a couple of things, and there could be some simpler ways to do this, but this is kind of the design I came up with. Um, I was lucky enough to not have gutters before. I don't know if that's lucky or not, but uh, I was able to have them install the, the downspout kind of in the center of the of the uh, garage here. You can see the downspout's in the center, which really allowed me to mount the, the screen trap uh, right to the downspout, which kind of eliminated some plumbing there. And that screen trap operates uh, to kind of screen out any particulate coming off the roof, and it also doubles as a mosquito uh, barrier, so the mosquitoes can't get into the tank. So uh, the idea is the water comes down here, feeds in the tank, and uh, comes down to the first tank, and when it fills, uh, once the water level hits kind of a couple inches in the bottom, it actually starts to fill these other tanks. And uh, the water all fills and drains at the same time, and the three vessels act as kind of one vessel. Uh, so this is just kind of simply plumbed down here. These so are all plumbed together. And uh, this is actually a uh, spout to another garden that we haven't hooked up yet, and that's turned off. So all the tanks are linked together, and there's a downspout for, uh, for some water for water in the garden here and then there's a spout which actually runs down into uh, some poly tube out to the swale system which is out here so that's the idea there oh, the other, other thing is the overflow so once the tanks it's got a key point here so once the tanks get full um, I've seen a lot of design actually link the three tanks together and I was kind of questioning why that was done, and I still haven't seen what's going to happen once this fills up, but I think it's going to work okay. Uh, what we did is we designed these uh, a little higher than, than what uh, the actual overflow would be. So as the water level came up, they'd actually hit this overflow first, and then drain, drain the liquid down into the swale, into the overflow. So these rubber couplers here are so the system can be taken apart and maintenanced if we need to. So you just remove, remove these two rubber components, and uh, the whole piece comes apart. So a nice idea is what it can do is we can dump this, and I'll kind of show you what happens here. So this is all traveling underneath, down, 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 and I actually haven't finished digging this in yet, so this is going to happen tonight or tomorrow, and then this will actually feed into the swale system. If they're actually feeding the hoover culture beds that are in front of them, which ultimately will feed water to the whole food forest below. There'll be another set of swales down below, which we haven't dug yet, which will act as an overflow for this one. So the idea is here is the water uh, all comes into here. We can target water, and we can basically water the entire food forest uh, by just opening this one valve here. So uh, we're pretty excited about this. Now I am. So uh, yeah, that's uh, at least three quarters done with our water harvesting system. I hope you enjoyed it.